One minute, one minute. Hey, I forgot. <clears throat> yo, 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 what's up, YouTube? It's the Card Trick Master here again today for another video, and I'm back once again, guys, with another video. And for today's video, you guys didn't answer my fucking question on Instagram. So I opened this one already, Prism Day. So we're not going to open that one. I haven't opened these two, Prism Dusk or the original Prism or Fuck Dusk. So we are going to be unboxing Prism today. And I'm also going to show all the beginners kind of the continuation of that beginner thing I did on um, Monday's video. I'm going to basically be showing you guys what you should do when you first open a deck of playing cards and what to look for. Before we begin this video, please don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe down below, comment on any videos you guys want to do next, and hit the little notification bell so you guys can never miss a video from me. Also, oh gosh. Also, please don't forget to follow me on all my social media links, which will be in the description box down below, so you guys can go check me out, stay with us up and give me more video ideas. Also, please check out teespring.com slash stores slash shop CMX. You guys can get yourself some custom CMX or even JBZ gear. I know. Let's just let's just go. Let's just get right into it. I'm gonna finish my breath first and then we can get into it. Okay. All right, let's go. So first thing, second, you got to take off the cellophane. So this deck is Prism, uh, made by Elephant Playing Cards. Elephant Playing Cards, shout out to uh, Elephant Playing Cards. Now, I've never heard of Elephant Playing Cards before I heard about these. And um, 
I've opened other ones, like the day and stuff, and, and they feel a little bit different than normal playing cards, but they still work. I, I can still do a lot of the same stuff with them. I'm going to open up the box, and first thing you're going to do is you're just going to sniff. <sighs> and you're just going to take in that scent of a new deck. <sighs> because as as, uh, as new magicians, you got to know what a deck smells like before you can know what a deck feels like. You know, we're using all of our senses here, boys. Maybe you can give it a little bit of a... Ew. Ew. Gross. Yeah, don't lick it. Don't lick it. So you take out the cards. Fuck the box. The first thing you'll probably see is a Joker. This Joker's kind of trippy. Uh, just looking at it, I'm kind of... In a daze. In a daze. Yeah. So, next card. Hey, look. Another Joker. What a surprise. What a fucking surprise. Look at that. Oh, wow. Next card is an ace. Ace, ace, ace of spades. Of spades. Fuck the jokers. Anytime you open a new deck, depending on the, the company who makes the deck, you'll always find the jokers first. And then you'll find the cards in always king through ace order. So you'll have a king through ace, probably of spades or clubs or diamonds. It doesn't matter what order they really put it in. Um, but it's going to be probably king through ace. This one is going to be King through Ace of Hearts. And then there's always the Kissing Kings. Or the Brokeback Kings is what some people call it. Or I call them the uh, King of Gays. Then you find the clubs. But this time it's Ace through King. And then Ace through King of Diamonds as well. And then you always find a fucking, like, an ad card. A-D-D-C-A-R-D. -D -D. Ad card. And I'm just going to read it to you guys, okay? A little bit of a story time here. So, Elephant Playing Cards started in 2015 when founder Ben Jones asked the question, What happened to family game nights? It seemed that our time was increasingly consumed by technology, which had replaced real, genuine, human relationship. His solution to this problem was to create a new type of game that would reclaim family time from TV, social media, and online games. This is where... The idea for Elephant Playing Cards was born to make cards so interesting that everyone would want to unplug and enjoy some quality time and real conversation with friends and family over a fun game. Today, Elephant Playing Cards are designed... Uh, today, Elephant Playing... Today... Fuck. Today, Elephant Playing Cards designs some of the world's most interesting cards to get people of all ages away from the screen and back to enjoying each other's company. We all need real relationships. So pick up a deck and start a game today. That's the front side of this. Now the back side says thank you for your purchase and support of our business. We hope you love your new deck. If you want to pick up another, use code EPC15 to get 15% off everything at ElephantPlayingCards.com. We heart seeing customers with our new cards. Please follow us at ElephantPlayingCards on Instagram and tag us in your picture of you with your new deck using the following hashtag for your chance to win $200 EPC voucher every month. Go follow Elephant Playing Cards on Instagram. I will leave their Instagram down below. If you guys buy these yourself, um, you can get them on ElephantPlayingCards.com. And uh, make sure you take pictures on Instagram. Tag it for your $200 voucher. Um, yeah, that's that's how this shit works. The back of the Prism cards look very interesting. It has all four suits um, in each corner. So it has spades right here. has hearts here. has clubs here. And it has diamonds here. First thing I like to do when I open a new deck of playing cards is I kind of like to get a feel of the deck. You know, I like to get a feel of how the cards feel before I shuffle them up. Maybe I do some dribbles like this um, just to kind of break it in a little bit. Um, sometimes I do some springs just to see how they feel. Um, sometimes I do Lapal just to see how Lapal looks. Maybe I do one of these things where I do kind of like a, 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 a nice here... Uh, cardistry thing that Cardmaster X created. You kind of just shuffle it up, get used to the deck, so then that way when you're actually used to the kind of deck you're holding, you'll be able to create and perform a card trick doing it. So let's say they choose this card right here, the Seven of Hearts. The Seven of Hearts. And uh, the Seven of Hearts can get cut anywhere into the center of the deck, just like this, and the cards will then get cut, just like this. The cards will then be shuffled, and uh, just like that. Boom, your card is now on top of the deck. Interesting, right? Because I think 
that if I take these cards and I shuffle them up <clears throat> just like this, your card is no longer on top of the deck. Okay? And uh, here's what we can do. We can take the cards and shuffle them up even more. We can go face up, to face down, to face up, to face down, just like this. So here you can see we have face down to face up cards. We have face up to face down cards. And we also have face down to face down cards, right? But watch. One, two, three, just like that. One card in the entire deck becomes face up out of all the other cards. And that card just so happens to be your chosen card, the seven of hearts. Now for the outro. I hope that you enjoyed that video. If you did, tell your friends and uh, send them over here. Everyone's welcome. Everyone. And I'm serious. Even your dog. You can bring your dog to show some tricks. I really don't care. So, uh... Yeah, enjoy the rest of your day. And shout out to my oldest sister, Adriana. Happy birthday to you. I love you. And I'll see you guys in the next video on Monday. Keep mastering life. Wait, is that still a thing? No? Damn. Uh, whoa, that's not a thing either. Fuck. You always, always, every time you're invading my privacy. Get out of here. Yeah, I just do that at you. That's your time to leave. Fucking. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make you leave, okay? I'm gonna make you fucking leave. I'm gonna make you fucking leave. Leave.